Hi, this is Mimi. Welcome to my channel and my new desk. It's not new. It's my same desk, okay? But I covered it with contact paper. Why? Because the white was getting so dirty, I couldn't handle it anymore. So, tell me what you think. I like the brown. I like the wood, and it was really cheap on Amazon. I, if I remember, I'll link it down below. So, do you remember how I said that I didn't want to use this piece of paper because I loved it so much, but I didn't know what I was going to do with it? I decided what I'm going to do with it is make mystery cards. So, if you've never made mystery cards, you just need a piece of paper and a trimmer. And we're going to trim our paper down to the 12 by 12. Remember, I always say it, you got to trim because... Look at how much more they give you than 12 inches, okay? So you've got to be mindful of that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it upside down, and I need, I'm doing math in my head, 10 and a half. Let's cut this to 10 and a half, right? Because that's five and a quarter, five and a quarter. It is 10 and a half. And then we will cut to five and a quarter. And then... To four, four, and four. So that's three. And do the same thing. Four, four, and four. Make sure. Even though I know it is, let's still make sure. Put this away. And then I have some pre made card bases. So I need six. And then all we're going to do is start flipping them around and gluing them on. Okay? And then we'll see what we get. And it'll be a surprise. A surprise! I have this bobby pin holder from Target to hold my pin so I don't lose my pin because we all know I do. Look, that is great as a card in of itself. Make sure I have it on the right side, because, come on, let's face facts. I was not planning on coming down and crafting today. However, it's actually like 1.30 and I never come down here this late. But it is hot and I don't want to do anything else. It's so hot. It's so hot. It's a high of 97 today with a real feel of who knows what and it's so hot. And then <laughs> let's talk about it. All right. We're just going to, we're going to chat while I glue these down. Um, about a month ago, I had a conversation. If you're new here, um, I'm going to put it this way. If you're new here, I do live with my father. He's disabled. So I live with my father, my son and I. And about a month or so ago, I had a conversation with my dad about an attic fan because it is so grossly hot in this house. There's, um, he, they put insulation in when they bought this house in 1998. And it wasn't good insulation back then, you know what I mean? So it's just that rollout insulation and we were talking about getting blown insulation in because it's it needs it. We had some guy come give us an estimate and it was $1,500 and he said we needed way more insulation in the attic than what was in there. So we do need more insulation. But when I talked about it, I said, what about an attic fan? And he tells me that we used to have an attic fan. It was broken when they bought this house. And I went, okay, well, sh we should have an attic fan. Well, lo and behold, today he says, it's still up there. It's still in the ceiling. It's not hooked up, and it doesn't work. So now we have to figure out, because nobody will call you back. I'm sorry. No electricians have called me back to um, 
actually like come do any work on this house because our basement lights are still out and I'm like well we can't even get anybody to come freaking do anything for us so I don't know if we can even get somebody what do you think where does this go here And that goes there. And then this one was here. Okay. That's weird. Oh, duh. Why didn't you guys say something? There. There we go. So these look really good. Now we just need to find stamps so we can stamp some kind of sentiment on them. I did just get, let's see, what do we have on here? I got this from Dollar Tree. I never saw this one before. So I was hoping, but I don't see anything in there that would work very well. Oh no. I really have to clean some of my stamps. I've never used that one, so we could we could use that one. So how about we use that one and see, we have these two. So let's figure it out. We need my Misty. Okay. And we have that. This is, what is it? Say it with encouragement from May May Made It. Oh, I despise that Dollar Tree started doing this. And I understand why they did it. They did it because of money issues, but putting it on this backing, I hate that. I hate it. Okay. I think I want to use the word remember on the outside of some of these. So, like, I think remember right here would be like super cute. What do you think? I wish you could tell me. Why can't you guys tell me anything? Or maybe at the end? Right, am I having it the right way? Let's make sure it's the right way, yes. Putting it on the end like that, we'll pick it up. boyfriend's like, wait, it could have been cooler in here for years if you would have known there was an attic fan. I'm like, yeah, there's nothing we can do about it right now, okay? Because right now it's 97 freaking degrees out. We can't get anybody out here. So how about we just relax for right now? All right, so we have that one. That's cute, right? Let's move on. Let's wipe this down so we can put it in a new spot because I doubt they'll all... I don't know, maybe they would. Let's see, do you think it'll line up? Nope. Okay. But we're gonna do the same thing. The word remember, right there. Anything else? Should we do the word your? Am 
like that. We'll see. So sticky. Lost my rag. Look, my rag picked up garbage off the floor because I don't have a working vacuum down here. So I have to. <laughs> the two vacuums we have down here are broken. And they weren't, and now they are. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you? They weren't, and now they are. Um, the one. I think that might be too. I don't like that. What about here? I think right there. Um, our upstairs vacuum broke and I thought it would be okay to work down here and it doesn't. So I need to get a vacuum for down here. I'm not looking forward to it. I don't really want to. I think I'm just gonna bring down the upstairs vacuum and vacuum and then just take it upstairs. And then I have to get rid of the other two vacuums. Okay. And then we have two more. And should we just do the hello? Why not? Or should we do the a note to say? I think we'll do the a note to say. You can tell. You can tell the difference between Dollar Tree stamps and other stamps. That didn't stick at all. It stamped very nice, though. Can't complain about how nice it stamped. to move it because I um, put this one on different. That's okay. I just got to punch, punch. I just got to stamp on the inside, not punch. All right. Now this will be easier because I can just put um, the same. I can put it down and it stamps the same on most of them. So should we do a note to say, let's do love and hugs.
Now we just have to figure out what the other one should say. I'm pretty sure I just put that upside down, but I don't care. All right. Okay, we have these that go this way. It says your. Your what? I don't know. Your. You're the reason I smile. No. Yeah, we'll do you're the reason I smile. Where did it go? Right there. don't want to put my finger in that ink. And I know I will. I don't have much to say today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't got much to say. It's been a long day already. It's just hot and everybody's miserable. <laughs> Honest to God. And listen, I wouldn't have known about the stupid attic fan if the neighbor wouldn't have been over. And I asked the neighbor if it was super hot in their house. I said, because it's like 84 in our house. She goes, oh no, we have an attic fan and insulation. And I looked at my dad and I went, see? And he's like, well, we have an attic fan. And I went, what? You told me we didn't. You told me it was broken. Like, why wouldn't it be working? And he said, well, it didn't work when we moved in. And then, um... There used to be a guy and I lived in our neighborhood who was a contractor and he did a lot of work in the neighborhood. And he, by the way, he like got sued by a lot of people in the neighborhood because he screwed everything up. And anyway, um, my dad said, well, he unhooked it when he went up there to do work and it was never hooked back up. He's like, but it didn't work when we moved in. And I'm like, okay, well, how, why have we been dying every summer because the AC can't keep up because we have no insulation and no attic fan and you didn't say oh yeah we do have an attic fan why why Bob why like this is something that could have been taken care of years ago years ago and it could be it could be cooler than 84 degrees in my house it was 84 degrees in my house at fucking midnight last night midnight midnight it was 84 degrees. This says remember. 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 How about follow your dreams? My dream is to have a cool house. That's my dream today. Though I came downstairs and I was like, it's still 80 in the it's 80 in the, the hallway. I'm like, whatever you do, do not make it worse in this house. I told my boyfriend, I'm like, I don't care if you play the PlayStation, because I don't know if you know, but the PlayStation 5, who man, does that blow some heat. Like, it, it's hot back there behind a PlayStation 5. And I told myself, I don't care what you do. I said, but you close this door so none of that heat goes out there. I'm like, I don't care. Tell me, do you live in an old house with no insulation and no attic fan and it's fucking hot as shit? I need to know, because I'm over it over it okay and one last one and then I feel like maybe it needs some bling or something I don't want to do stickers like there's stickers still in that sticker pack but I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of that um the rest of that collection kit like I want to finish it up I don't care if there's stickers left because I could always use stickers in my journal or anything like that that doesn't matter to me but I want to make sure I use up all the paper and the cut aparts will just go in my and with my uh my box of shame of all my journal cards <laughs> of all my journaling cards and cut aparts if you haven't seen my box of shame I did do a video where I showed it because I was using some of them but yes I have an entire shoe box filled with cut aparts and journal cards. <sighs> yeah. 
So, um, I don't care if I don't have those, but I would like to try to get rid of all the paper. So, I'm hoping that I can think of something when I'm done with this video that I can then make something else with it. I don't know if I have enough that I can make a little journal. I wonder if I do. I might have enough that I can make a little journal. I'll have to look. But there we go. Oops. Here are the cards. That I made as mystery cards. What do you guys think? I think they are so adorable. And then this one says, you're the reason I smile. A note to say, love and hugs, and remember, follow your dreams. They're adorable. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Have you ever done a mystery card? This was my first time actually doing a mystery card, and I actually really enjoyed it. And I think when I have paper like this, because I think they look, they're so bright and fun. I would love to get this card in the mail. Would you? Anyway... Thanks for joining me today. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next crafty video. Have a great rest of your day.